Hi, it's Miss Julie. Today I'm reading The Hungry Thing Goes to a Restaurant by Jan Slepian, Anne Seidler, and pictures by Elroy Freem. If you like this book, I read another one called The Hungry Thing. Both of them are published by Scholastic. One day, the hungry thing went to a restaurant. He carried a big sack. A boy named Buster sat on the steps with his twin sister, Sue. Buster said, hi, hungry thing. The hungry thing pointed to a sign around his neck. It said, feed me. Sue said, we're hungry too. The hungry thing took them into the restaurant. The head waiter looked down his nose and said, we don't serve things here, not even hungry ones. The hungry thing ate some napkins. The head waiter changed his mind. Sit right down, sir. But he said no to the twins. Shoo! Go away! No children allowed! The hungry thing sat down on his sack. He hid the twins behind his back. He pointed to the sign around his neck. It said, Feed me! The head waiter said, Would you like a drink? The hungry thing nodded. Bapple moose, he said. The head waiter said to the waitress, Bapple moose, what's that? Oh my, quick tell me or he'll eat my tie. Let me see, said the waitress. I think it's a tea. It's for soaking your feet while up in a tree. I disagree, said the waiter. It is boiled in a pail. You pour it on seaweed when serving a whale. Buster and his sister Sue laughed. The head waiter found them. The twins said, Bapple moose sounds like sapple goose sounds like apple juice to us. Of course, said the waitress. She rolled in a barrel of apple juice for the hungry thing. He drank it all up. The head waiter shook his head at the twins. Shoo! Go away! No children allowed! The hungry thing hid the twins under the table. He pointed to his sign that said, Feed me! What would you like to eat? asked the head waiter. Spooner dish, said the hungry thing. The head waiter said to the waitress, Spoon a dish? Do we have it by chance? Quick, tell me, or he'll eat my pants. I've heard tell, said the waitress. It comes in a shell. It is served to large frogs when they're not feeling well. I disagree, said the waiter. It's really a cake made of mustard and fleas as a treat for a snake. Buster and his sister Sue laughed. The head waiter found them under the table. The twins said, Spoona dish sounds like Luna fish sounds like tuna fish to us. Of course, said the waiter. He set a tub of tuna fish before the hungry thing. The hungry thing ate it all up. The head waiter shook his finger at the twins. Shoo! Go away! No children allowed! The hungry thing hid the twins under his tail. He pointed to his sign that said, Feed me! The head waiter said, You have had your fill. It is time to pay the bill. The hungry thing ate the tablecloth. The head waiter said, 
yes sir i see what you mean sir what would you like to eat sir bench flies said the hungry thing the head waiter said to the waitress bench flies is that something new quick tell me or he'll eat my shoe it is said claimed the waitress they are bones wrapped in bread they are eaten by tigers while reading in bed i agree said the waiter and when stirred into stews make a popular toothpaste for girl kangaroos buster and his sister sue laughed the head waiter found them again the twins said bench flies sounds like mench pies sounds like french fries to us of course said the waiter he wheeled out a cart full of french fries the hungry thing didn't touch a one smetch up he added the head waiter threw his hands in the air oh dear oh dear is smetch up on the menu here it is not said the waitress smetch up's too hot smoke comes out of your ears if you're eating a lot i disagree said the waiter smetchup's a pie it makes you fly but i don't know why buster and sue both cried ketchup the hungry thing wants his french fries with ketchup are you still here shoo go away no children allowed said the head waiter they're okay let them stay said a lady dressed in gray yes please do we want you to said her sister dressed in blue hey there mac what's in the sack asked a man dressed in black the hungry thing pointed to his sign that said feed me popsicles he requested the twins took, took charge he wants popsicles they said silk snakes said the hungry thing milkshakes ordered the twins born on the slob said the hungry thing corn on the cob shouted the twins The waiters brought out trays of food piled high with popsicles, milkshakes, and corn on the cob. Everyone in the restaurant gathered around to watch. The head waiter waved the bill. You don't pay, you don't stay. All three of you must go away. The hungry thing wiped his mouth on the head waiter's tie. He sat Buster and his sister Sue at the table. Then he opened his sack, out poured a pile of money. He turned his sign around. It said, feed them. Everyone in the restaurant cheered. The hungry thing smiled and bowed. He patted his stomach and went away.